Welcome to Real Food. In this video I'm going to show how to prepare small portions of uh, roast vegetables without using the oven, without using anything complicated and um, something that should take you not huge amount of time um, and should feed one or two or small amount of people. So what I'm doing, I've got um, Brussels sprouts but you can use any other vegetables you like and I've got potatoes um, baby potatoes. What I'm doing now, I am actually pre-boiling them. Um, I want to get my potatoes um, soft, um, but I know that potatoes take much longer than uh, Brussels sprouts. So I'm pre-boiling my potatoes and then I'm going to put them um, here in my frying pan with a little bit of water. So that's an easy way to do it. So I'm softening both my Brussels sprouts and potatoes and then I will move on to the next um, stage of adding butter where and, and spices and I will be roast, roasting them in those in the butter and spices. So here we are. Now I mixed my um, Brussels sprouts and potatoes and I am actually going to drain this water now and I'm going to add butter and um, I will continue roasting my vegetables with butter and um, spices. So here we are. I've got some butter. Um, this butter piece of butter will melt in a few in a minute or so. And this butter will um, then form my base and in this base um, my vegetables will continue roasting. So as you can see, I mean if you if you only need a small amount of food, um, you really do, I mean you don't need an oven and then I'm going to cover this frying pan and it will add that it will create that nice um, hot microclimate from both top and bottom and um, they will continue roasting in this nice butter. Um, I will add some salt and spices I've got some fresh sage, I will add some pepper I think I will add um, some herbs and then um, I will just um, keep an eye on it and, and see how it um, how it starts getting golden and um, beautifully roasted, and and that's really um, almost um, almost it. So it should really take you um, maybe a couple of minutes to prepare chopping them, and then another couple of minutes uh, pre-boiling, and then another five ten minutes or so, and you're done. These delicious roast vegetables um, are there without much fuss or, or lengthy preparation procedures. Okay, here we are. So what I've got, I've got some wild rosemary, I've got some um, thyme, I've got um, black pepper, and I've got fresh sage sprinkled um, over my roast vegetables. So now I'm going to I'm going to cover my veg, and it will slowly roast like this until it gets golden. Something else um, I actually decided to do, and this is optional, you don't need to do this, but I um, added cherry tomatoes into my roast and they will add some nice flavor. And the reason, another reason why I decided to add them is because I'm actually growing these cherry tomatoes myself on my balcony. And I've collected um, a few bunches recently and these are um, ripening um, now in my kitchen. So and I decided to make good use of them. Um, I've tried these um, tomatoes before in roasts and salads and they taste absolutely wonderful, mm, partly because I'm, I obviously grow them myself. Uh, I look after them and they literally uh, keep producing, well they don't produce anymore but they, they keep ripening even in December in my balcony. Um, the reason why they, they, um, they're so generous um, is because I guess there's a microclimate where sun reflects from the walls so they feel warm and comfortable and um, I get these fresh supplies of tomatoes. <laughs> so um, if I can dig out those videos or images of um, my balcony and how I grow them, I'm going to show them here. Here we are. Here's my roast ready. And uh, I would like to wish you bon appétit and we'll chat again soon.